Hello guys, I will be working on a iPhone XR today which is sent to us by one of our dealers. So the phone was working when they got it after they replaced the screen and the bag housing. Um, it's just gone dead. It's not uh, turning on anymore. So this is the phone here. So they put, oh, can you see, oh, they put new battery, new housing and uh, the problem with uh, um, buying this cheap quality back housing with the parts fitted or without parts I don't think that's a good quality and that can cause any problem iPhone XS Max, iPhone 11, 11 Pro they are having this sort of problem when you are using cheap quality um, back housing or uh, charging port uh, they can get shorted or they can go into boot loop and um, restarting problem anyway so let's see if we can fix this board uh, the only thing which they have mentioned is uh, the phone is heating up and uh, maybe we will check uh, just by putting our finger on it what area it's heating up and then later if we need it uh, we will check it under the thermal cam and uh, we will use antifreeze method as well so i will connect it <coughs> to power supply i hope it is this for the six here okay let's turn it on and as soon as i turn it on i can see on the dc power supply is showing short yeah i can feel this area either is processor or either it's something around the processor which is i can feel the heat here Okay, so the next thing I will do, I will check it under the thermal cam. So, um, the board is under thermal cam now and I will give it some power. As you can see, as soon as we power it up, this IC here is showing heat. So, this is where the problem is. This is the IC which is uh, <coughs> showing the heat. This is uh, audio IC U5002 if I'm not wrong. Let me check. Yeah, this is uh, U5002. Next thing I would like to check if we are getting any short around here. yep this is shorted this whole line is shorted so these three caps are shorted they are in the same line okay Ta -ta 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 -ta. So the next thing I would like to do is uh, to use a freeze spray method because the thermal cam it shows um, the general area where the heat is generating from because it's pretty tight area so it's very hard to know which might be so let's use freeze spray method because freeze spray it usually can give you A better you can see right okay okay and now it's showing let's try again I will make it little bit wider 
and a little bit brighter okay looks okay now all right it looks like um, I see is showing heat first but and then suddenly these two but these two were not even shorted let's check No, they are not. So the next thing before I go into removing uh, U5002, you can also call small audio IC on iPhone XR. Why not use uh, instead of going into replacing because this is very tight area and close to the processor. But before that, how about uh, using um, short killer? Let's see if uh, this can help us. Okay. All right. We will put it here and let's try this what we getting nothing okay let's connect this properly maybe it's not connected let's find somewhere else maybe here okay yep and Okay, let's try see if the same thing is happening okay let's increase the amps and see what happened now is this is this the one now okay i don't want to give it any more uh, short killer amps yeah, because I don't want to make things worse so the situation is we could not find any of these short is still there but before I do that because to me it looks like see this has this and this has changed some color after we have used short killer so why not first just deattach this is how i usually do you know just uh, instead of removing the whole thing oh, it came out but I usually I usually can pull it up so this was the one which was uh, shown a little bit of this color after we use short killer okay let's check was that 
Yep. The shot is gone. No more shot. Where is the one which we just removed? Let's check one more time. No. It's still showing is shorted. This is uh, another one which I would like to remove. Let's remove it whole thing. Now check. Because these two capacitors, one here and this one, they after we use the short killer, these were. Let's check. Okay, let's check if. Can you hear? So this was shorted. Ah, David, can you just turn off so that I, we can hear the beep? See, this was shorted. So let's check one more time. Yep, all good. No short. The short is gone, but we don't know because that uh, audio I see PU5002 was getting quite hot up to 100 degrees centigrade, so we don't know what else it might have damaged. So I'm not gonna, I don't trust all these housing cables, so the uh, only thing I will be connecting is, is uh, this LCD. You can see there, right here. Yeah. Okay, and Just the charging port and the battery and the LCD. And let's see what happened now. Yep. And I'm looking at the amp meter. I wish I could just bring it here so that you can see it's drawing the right amp, which is very close. one amp and it did turn down it's charging yep the battery showing that's all good so guys thank you very much for watching so the lesson we learned today is if some IC is heating up and it's difficult to replace and you're not 100% sure if it could be IC or just uh, the capster around it try uh, checking the capster um, remove one by one before you replace the LCD um, remove any IC so thank you very much for, for watching see you in the next video bye